Berkeley was founded in 1945. Right here in Boston, we have almost 5,000 students. And in addition to that, we have Berkeley Online, which is the largest online music college in the world. And we also have a campus in Valencia, Spain, as well as a campus in New York City. Berkeley's had a rich history of producing film composers. We have produced such composers as Quincy Jones, Alan Silvestri, Howard Shore, Pinar Toprak, Ramin Jawadi, and Jeff Zanelli. Our students not only write for film and TV, but they also expand their writing to more contemporary type of styles where they produce uh, pop artists, electronic artists. The students in the Contemporary Writing and Production program learn how to write for a diverse variety of ensembles and different styles. It's important for our students that they learn sequencing and production skills early on and compose and create great sounding mockups. So we've been working at this for over 40 years, honing and refining the curriculum. In order to teach our students how to produce orchestral mockups, we really needed them to have an excellent orchestra right at their fingertips. And we didn't have that. And so I reached out to Henrik at Orchestral Tools to see if he would be interested in helping us design uh, the perfect orchestral library for us to teach students how to produce mockups. So working together with Berklee College of Music is really an honor for us at Orchestral Tools. Berkeley is probably the most renowned college for music. This has been a true collaboration. Uh, we've gone back and forth for about two years now, uh, building this library, working on it. So my role in helping to create this library has been to work closely with the Orchestral Tools team to select all the instruments that go into the library, choose the articulations, and design the overall feature set. That was all done with the goal of creating a library that would be a great educational tool that would allow our students to write and orchestrate without compromising or cutting any corners and that would provide our students a tool that could be played out of the box with a really professional sound. So we recorded the entire Berlin series like you would record a score. That means all the different instruments are placed in situ within the room and also the instruments itself have a natural volume relations to each other because we take really care that everything that we record at Teldex for the Berlin series is recorded at the same gain level. And that means that if you combine, for example, the first violins playing together with the trumpet, that those two instruments melt together like it would be in a real uh, recording session. The way the library is configured, it allows the students for maximum flexibility, where they are able to choose between soloist and ensemble patches for the strings. For woodwinds and brass, each player has been separated, which gives you the most flexibility when you're orchestrating. So the Berlin Orchestra is a really complete uh, library that includes a full set of strings, both sections and solo strings. There are first and second violins included. All the woodwind and brass instruments are sampled individually with all the players in the orchestra. So unlike most other libraries where you might have a solo instrument and a unison ensemble, in the Berlin Orchestra we have pairs for all the woodwinds, so two flutes, two oboes, two clarinets, two bassoons. In the brass we have four individual horns, three trumpets, two trombones, as well as a horn ensemble and a trumpet ensemble. And then a really well-rounded set of percussion instruments, both pitched and uh, unpitched instruments. The students at Berkeley are very talented and they are always collaborating with each other. The Berlin Orchestra allows our students to work together seamlessly and it allows everybody to work together in classes, share templates for big projects and to us to collaborate among departments. Imagine a student learning and using orchestral libraries that are professional when they are in the classroom and then moving to their professional work outside the school uh, and being able to keep using those professional tools is really important. The Berlin Orchestra works in almost every computer, including laptops, and it allows our students to take their creativity wherever they go. So you get a professional sounding library with a relatively small footprint in terms of computer resources. The setup time is very minimal, so it allows us to get up and running in a matter of minutes. 
Some of my favorite features are, for example, uh, there is an option to choose um, that the dynamic that is controlled by a control change allows me to go to niente, to no sound by uh, using a control change. And that, that's the level of detail that we're looking into a library. It consists of one full mic mix, but it has all the dynamic layers, all the round robins of the full Berlin series. To my knowledge, no other film scoring program and sample developer have collaborated in this way. It's a big step for Berkeley and an innovative one at that. To some degree, this new sample library is the curriculum. The Berlin Orchestra is going to be used by all our students in the film scoring curriculum and it'll also be available uh, to any student throughout the Berkeley community. I'm really looking forward to see the Berlin Orchestra in the hands of our students and faculty and see how our students can get more creative and get better results with their writing. I'm really excited about this collaboration with Orchestral Tools and Berkeley College of Music and I can no wait to hear what our students are creating with this new tool. There are way more plans regarding educational content and also more programs together with the students at the campus. So looking forward to an amazing time at the collaboration with Berkeley College of Music. And we really look forward to future projects together. <laughs>